Hi guys, my name is Ashishvi. In today's video, we are going to discuss about complement pathway. What is complement? Complement are system of plasma proteins that are synthesized in liver, which play major role in innate immunity and inflammation. Why it is called complement pathway? As it complements immune system to kill bacteria, it is known as complement pathway. Complement pathway are activated in three ways. That is classic complement pathway, alternate complement pathway and lectin mediated complement pathway. Now coming to classic complement pathway. IgG or IgM is needed for activation of classic complement pathway. Let us take a bacteria. When IgG or IgM is attached to this bacteria, here C1 comes and binds and starts activation of classic complement pathway. Following C1, C4 comes and attaches to C1. Here C4 is divided into C4A and C4B, where C4A goes away and C4B remains here. Following C4B, C2 comes and attaches to this complex. C2 is also divided into C2A and C2B. C2A goes away and C2B remains here. Here C4B 2B acts as C3 converters. That means when C3 comes and attaches to this complex, it is divided into C3A and C3B, where C3A goes away and C3B remains here. Now C4B, 2B, 3B acts as C5 converters. That means when C5 comes and attaches to this complex, C5 is divided into C5A and C5B where C5A goes away and C5B remains here. Here C3A, C4A and C5A act as anaphylatoxins that stimulate mast cells which causes to degranulate and release histamine which cause anaphylaxis. So it plays major role in anaphylaxis. Following C5B, C6, C7, C8 and C9 attaches to this complex and this complex is known as MAC that is membrane attack complex which drills holes in bacteria and destroys them. Membrane attack complex mainly Defense against gram negative bacteria, especially Neisseria species. Deficiency results in recurrent infection. Here, C5A also acts as chemotactic factor for neutrophils. C3B acts as opsonin. What are opsonins? Opsonins are molecules which attracts macrophages to enhance phagocytosis. Along with C3B, IgG also acts as primary opsonin against bacterial defense. Sometimes this classic complement pathway cascade goes up to C3B and stops. Let me show you in a diagram. Stay bacteria. Immunoglobulin C1, C4B, C2B, and C3B. It stops here, and this C3B falls on the bacteria and attaches to the lipopolysaccharide on the bacterial wall. As this C3B acts as opsonin, it attracts macrophages for phagocytosis. It is known as partial activation of classic complement pathway coming to alternate complement pathway here in alternate complement pathway we does not require IgG or IgM for the activation it can activate by microbe surface molecules it starts when C3 binds to microbe surface. 
let us show in diagram when c3 bound to microbial surface molecule c3 is amplified into c3b now c3b is attached to bb component this complex c3b bb acts as c3 converters which converts c3 into c3b and c3a this complex c3b bb 3b acts as c5 converters thus when c5 comes and attaches to this it divides c5 into c5b and c5a as usually c6 c7 c8 and c9 attaches to c5b and forms membrane attack complex which causes cytolysis of this bacteria lectin mediated complement pathway lectin mediated complement pathway is similar to classic complement pathway except it does not require igg or igm for activation it starts when microbial surface have lectin mannose or other sugars and complement comes and attaches to it let's take a diagram bacteria here lectin now c1 comes and attaches to this lectin following c1 c4 comes and attaches to c1 and is divided into c4b and c4a c4a goes away now c2 comes and attaches to c4b it is divided into c2b and c2a which goes away now c4b and c2b acts as c3 converters and when c3 comes and attaches to this complex it is divided into c3b and c3a that goes away now c4b 2b 3b acts as c5 converters when c5 comes and attaches to this complex it is divided into c5b and c5a as usually c6 c7 c8 and c9 comes and attaches to c5b and forms membrane attack complex which causes cytolysis when do complement system get activated in our body when bacteria enters in our body it can be engulfed by macrophage directly or by antigen present on the bacteria it can stimulate the formation of immunoglobulins and can be neutralized by them or it can activate classic complement pathway partially up to where c3b is formed and falls on the wall of the bacteria and acts as opsonin and attract macrophage for phagocytosis or it can activate classic complement pathway completely and form membrane attack complex for cytolysis or it can activate alternate complement pathway and form membrane attack complex or it can activate lectin complement pathway and cause cytolysis if complement system is continuously activated it will make holes in our own cells so decay accelerating factor that is cd55 and c1 esterase inhibitors helps to prevent complement activation on our own cells for example on rbcs the take home point in this video is the test used to screen for activation of classic complement pathway is ch50 test it is mainly asked in questions Thank you.